get him to
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. If I could have your attention, please. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. If I could have your attention, please. My name is Doug Beaton. I'm the treasurer for the Surrendering Kate Patel campaign. 
for the 240th District Court. And uh, I would like to uh, first thank our friends here at uh, uh, VFW Hall in Stafford for their wonderful hospitality. Uh, Missouri City and Stafford. Give credit where credit is due, I guess. Thank you everybody for coming out. We really appreciate it. Um, I'd like to start things off as soon as I can pull it back up. With the, uh, the Pledge of Allegiance to the uh, Texas state flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And now I would like to uh, introduce Ruben Martinez to come up and say the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you, Ruben. And now for the singing of the Star Spangled Banner, Miss Angela, excuse me, Amber Montemayor. all your help. We're here tonight, try to find a seat wherever you can, uh, to celebrate the start, the kickoff of the Surrendering K. Patel campaign for judge for 240th District Court. And uh, since she's got a, uh, a previous commitment that she has to take care of, I would like to invite Alice Chen to the stage to say a few words. My name is Alice Chen. First, I want to say Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. 2022 is going to be a great year. 
especially for all of us here tonight, for surrender our brother from different different mom. I always call surrender my brother from different mom. <laughs> surrender is amazing, kind, dedicated to his principle. And I know we're all here to support this gentleman. And I saw surrender do a lot for our community. I'm so honored to serve a city council for Stafford for the past three years. And I will share a story with you. When I first ran for Stafford City Council in 2019, it's a, it's a very difficult challenge for me. So sometimes when you run an election, you know, you, you work hard, but sometimes you, you, you have some doubts. So one day I receive a call. It's my brother, Surrender. He said, Alice, as long as I know you have a qualification to do this job, but as long as you have the faith in God and you have a passion to serve this community, it will come. So surrender, my brother, this is your turn. And we are here to support you. Yay! Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Also, my brother, another brother, Keith Matthew, come on. Yes, Keith Matthew. Yes. Thank you, sir. And now, Ken Matthew, to say a few words. Thank you, sir. Which one is this? Thank you. Surendran, good luck to you. That's the way to go. You are qualified. There is nothing wrong in seeking this position because you are a qualified person. Yes. I know Surendran for a long time. So I know him very well, and uh, Surendran, or even even like like last time, I have my full uh, I have the full support for you, and I will also work for you, and I want everybody who is here to support Surendran, because then we will have if he is successful, we will have a very fantastic judge, and I also want to thank my colleague. Alice Chen. She is very active in the community and uh, she is an asset for our city of Stafford. And uh, thank you, Alice, for calling me here to say a few words. Thank you so much. Good luck to you, Surendra. And now, Ash, would you come, please? Ash Amadi. Hi everyone. I hope everyone's enjoying the samosas. Honestly, surrender when samosas is good, it'd be a shame if you don't win. <laughs> so my name is Ash Marani. I'm the trustee for Stafford Municipal School Board. I was the youngest trustee ever elected to the board. I was also the first South Asian ever elected to the board. And uh, I look back and I, I think of the when I was early in my campaign. You know, this was a long time ago. I've been surrender for a few years now. I was a scared little young man and. I was trying to seek the endorsement, and I'm in this room, and I'm getting ready for my endorsement interview, and I'm kind of nervous, and I see Surrender and waiting there, and he, he comes up to me, introduces himself, and you know, we, we, we share pleasantries, he finds out from India, and then we talk about you know, India a little bit, and then he says, hey, don't worry, I know every single person in that room, and you will do just fine. And he was, his compassion and his willingness to help was so evident at that moment. And I will never ever forget that. And his, and fortunately, thanks to him, I did get the endorsement. Uh, I was very fortunate for that. And Surendran is exactly what our county needs. Someone who is qualified, someone who's compassionate, someone who is fair, and someone who understands the law and will apply it equitably and also do it with compassion. I think that is exactly what this county needs. And I am so glad to have someone like that run. And I am thankful. So thank you so much for running because you are exactly the kind of public servant that we are so proud to have. So rather, thank you very much. And thank you all.
have any active candidates in the room? Stage is big enough for Dr. Delani to come up and have a few words to the audience. If you'd introduce yourself. Thank you so much for giving this opportunity. I am here to support Surendran. He's a good friend, honest man, hardworking, and I think he will make a good judge. I am running for state House District 76. I'm Dr. Suleiman Lalani. This is the new district that has been created in 76. The right prescription for Texas. Uh, I'm running for healthcare, improving healthcare access, prescription medications, and all, all of that education part. So I'm here asking for your support too, but here I'm here to support Surendra. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lilani. And we have someone else coming up. Um, Ms. Teddy Abraham running for Family Court. Thank you so much. Thank you, Surendran, for allowing me to be here today. Everybody, my name is Jetty Abraham. I'm running for the 328th Family District Court. Currently, I'm a prosecutor in the family violence section. And um, small background, I'm from Kerala. I'm from India. We migrated here, and we made a life here. I'm here with the great support of my husband, my friends, uh, the Honorable Ken Matthew, who I've known basically all my formative years, my former, he's my former teacher, and I stand before him humbly, and before everybody else, just to say that as Americans and as uh, people with a diverse background, we have, to, we have to be together. We have to support one another with a diverse background, because on our own, we can't make it. But we need, I need, Surendra needs, the other candidates here, Everybody, we all need you so that we can make a difference in this world because we've got a lot to offer. So ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jenny Abraham. I'm running for the Fort Bend County 328th District Court. It is purely a family court. I've been a licensed lawyer for over 20 years. Now I'm in the family violence section. I can offer a lot. Please help us. Please help all of the candidates here. Thank you so much. Do we have any more candidates in the room? Daniel? Thank you, Doug. Well, it's a pleasure to be here with you guys and uh, a pleasure to be here with my friend, uh, the soon-to-be Judge Patel. Yeah. <laughs> He's a great candidate, a good friend, and uh, definitely a great lawyer. Uh, my name is Daniel Lee. I'm running for House District 26. Uh, it's not here, but it's, it's nearby. Uh, I've been a licensed attorney for the last 15 years, and I've actually had experience working uh, in the Capitol. Now, um, a lot of you guys had dealt with the freeze, and I just wanted to help us so that we don't have to deal with that again, and actually attack the issues that have plagued us and continue to plague us, and I want to give, bring the power to the people. Uh, we're lacking power. They did not address any of those issues whatsoever. They tried to put a Band-Aid over it. And if you vote for Lee for 26, we're gonna make sure that we're gonna help Texas turn blue, starting with 26 and everywhere else. So vote for Lee for HD 26. And once again, uh, Definitely an honor to be here uh, with you know Surrendering, and he's going to be a great candidate. He's going to be a great addition to the court. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Always a pleasure. And now we have Johnson Thomas running for uh, county treasurer. 
Good evening, everybody. My name is Johnson Thomas. I'm running for uh, county tre treasurer in the primary. It's a great pleasure to meet Mr. Patel and wish him luck in his fun for judge. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, I'm also from Kerala. I'm running for treasurer. I work at the uh, county probation's office now, and I jumped in the race at the last minute, seeing that the treasurer definitely needs a qualified candidate. I'm the only one running in the race with an accounting degree. I worked in the Internal Revenue Service as a tax auditor and also worked at Texas Workforce Commission as a tax examiner. So I have the experience and the education to lead. So please give me an opportunity. Thank you. Ash, you have a housekeeping announcement? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm loud enough. Can you hear me? Okay, guys, uh, can you hear me? Can I have your attention, please? Everyone who is talking, can you can you just halt for a few minutes? So we all are here for surrender, right? Yeah. And all these other great candidates. Now, there are two things that we are horrible in doing. Can, can we name one of the two things? Voting. Voting. Voting is number one. What is the second? Oh, on time is fine. It's, it's uh, Indian Standard Time, one hour later. But the uh, second thing is funding. There you go. Two things. We are horrible, pathetic. I cannot use the other words, OK? So I'm not running, guys, OK? Surrender it. What I want. And I request, I plead, I urge, whatever the words you want to use, please, please, please go out to vote and take 10 people with you to vote. If someone says, I don't like to vote, drag them, kicking, screaming, I don't care. And I will be doing the same thing, by the way, okay? So I'm, I am not saying anything that I will not do. Please take at least 10 people with you to vote, neighbors, friends, off the street, doesn't matter, take them. Okay, and second is Don't write a check. Don't eat. Write a check. This, these things are costly. Very co Every single the sign that you see, that's at least $3. Okay, so please, please, please fund, please write a check. That's my housekeeping item. I beg you guys, please. Thank you. Well, he stole my thunder because I was about to step up and say the same things. Thank you very much. Ash, always appreciate it. Always a good friend. Uh, I'd like to say a couple of words before I turn it over to uh, surrendering. Um, the first thing I'd like to do, is, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to uh, have all of your attention, please. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? Today is the one year anniversary of one of the worst things that's happened by Americans to Americans since the Civil War. The Trump mob that stormed the Capitol on January 6th last year was despicable and they tried to overturn a lawful election to keep the man in power who had no business being in power in the first place because he lost the first one by more than three million votes. I would like everyone here to take a moment of silence to remember those fallen officers, those people who gave their lives, and to also remember that we're working very hard to restore democracy in all its form and all its beauty to this country in spite of everything that the Trumpians are trying to do and all the lies that they're spreading. Can I have a moment of silence, please? Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna say a few words about surrendering uh, before he gets up here, and uh, I doubt seriously if you'd be able to tell whether he's blushing or not, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll go from there anyway. Uh, 
We, uh, we did a lot of work in the last campaign trying to get surrendered over the hump. Unfortunately, it, it wasn't quite enough. And uh, we spent the, the next six months trying to figure out exactly what we did that we didn't do and what we could do better. We think we have a better game plan. We've got a number of people who are very, very, very committed to his campaign. And uh, everybody here knows that, uh, that he would be an excellent judge for the 240th DC. I've known Surrender for about five years now. Uh, I'm very committed to anything that he's running for. He is a tried and true blue Democrat. Uh, he's very progressive. He owns a law degree and has practiced law in both India and in the United States. He's heard cases in front of the Indian Supreme Court and he's practicing now uh, in uh, Fort Bend and Harris County. One of the things that st stood out to me about surrendering when I first met him was his total passion for justice, equality, and compassion. These are things that are sorely needed in the Fort Bend County Courts. These are things that have been addressed in the last election, but we need to move forward and do it for the rest of the courts. As Ash said, we need money. There are, there are ladies back in the back that have envelopes. We would love to take checks. There is a scam on the, the push cards that will get you into the campaign website. There's a vehicle there to be able to donate in that respect. And we will be looking forward to seeing all of you at the next event that we have, which will be a, a real fundraiser rather than a kickoff. So be generous. If you want to see Surrender succeed, like I said, bring 10 people out. Do what you can. Influence your friends. And donate. We need all the help we can get. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce the next judge of the 240th District Court in Fort Bend County, Mr. Surendran K. Patel. Thank you everybody for coming here and supporting our campaign. First of all, I would like to thank my wife Subha and my daughters Anika and Sandhya for all the sacrifices they are doing for helping me to achieve our united goal to become the district judge of 240th district court, Fort Bend County. You heard uh, Doug and uh, Ashish requesting for fund. It is always a challenge for candidates and campaign to get fund from their supporters. Even though they are passionately supporting, it is a struggle all the time. Last time, when we were campaigning in the Fort Bend County, our campaign was the, the only campaign raised more than $100,000. You guys supported us beyond measure. Even though we didn't win, we did, we did an, 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 a, a campaign of example. This time, we did not even start uh, fundraising. I did not ask anybody so far. I am requesting today. But on the moment I announced my candidacy, I got checks from my friends, supporters, without even asking, as of now, I don't know how much money we got today. Prior to that, we already got $7,000. 
and out of that 7,000, two friends of mine donated the maximum, that is 2,500. A judicial candidate in Fort Bend County cannot accept more than 2,500. And they match the maximum. And I am pretty sure that there are more friends coming. So I am not too much worried about the fund because I trust my, my friends and, my, and some, my supporters. But what I need is your day-to-day -day support in mobilizing, educating our people to get out and vote and win the primary. That is the, that is the most challenge we need to undertake in this election and march to the general election and win the general election in November. Now I would like to read the, the prepared speech I, I would like to address today. I have asked you to hear this evening for the official announcement of my candidacy for the 240th district court for Ben County. More specifically, I'm seeking the, the candidacy, the nomination of the Democratic Party in the March primary election. As Doug already mentioned, today, Mark, the one year removed from, our, from an outrageous attack on our nation's capital and our most precious ideals, I stand before you as a proud Democrat and I ask you that Please allow me to serve you, the people of Fort Bend County, and the courtrooms in Fort Bend County. I am a candidate whose passion for law and a good legal argument is surpassed only by my compassion for those who I hope to serve. My campaign slogan is firm on law, fair on justice. By that I mean that my respect for law and its meaning are matched by my determination that it be administered in a fair and equitable manner. Our courts and our judges are being challenged on a daily basis in our polarized, ever-changing society. One of those challenges has been with us for centuries, overcrowded, slow-moving court dockets at all level of judicial system, including Fort Bend County District Court 240th. We must do better, for there is no true legal adage that justice de delayed is justice denied. At the same time, we are seeing the emergence of frustration and anger regarding such issues as inequities in bonding and sentencing. I share those concerns, and I am committed to realistic, non-excessive bonding and reasonable, non-vengeful sentencing. I support reforms, both on the judicial and legislative uh, measures, to assure a color colorblind equality under the law. As a trial and appellate attorney, and as a certified mediator, and as a prospective judge, I also have serious growing concerns regarding restorative justice and mental health as it pertains to our criminal justice system. Let me state here and now that as a judge, I will explore and promote pre-trial diversion programs that facilitate mental health help and screening prior to trial or sentencing. As we gather here this evening, our country and its institution, our courtroom included, are experiencing one of the most significant periods of unrest in our nation's history. In the face of those stress, we require leaders of strength and determination. In the courtroom, we need judges who will renew our resource and expand on our plight to pursue and deliver justice for all. If elected, I promise that the kind of courtroom leadership and conviction that you need and you deserve. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate your support. Please get out and go bring your uh, friends and family. Thank you again. Thank you so much.
going to probably get shot for this later. So uh, go look at the obituaries, because you know, I'm probably not going to know it when I'm dead. Uh, but we've already spent that money that Surrender was talking about. Uh, we have already spent well over that amount of money. I really wish that he hadn't told you about that, but we are poor. We are about to go into the, we are actively seeking support from the Little Sisters of the Poor to go ahead and fund our campaign. So whatever you can do, know that it's going to be from ground zero, because right now, all you see around you, the riddle of this hall, all the food, all the signs, everything else, all of the website, everything that's happened has already put us behind schedule. So in spite of the amount that we've already raised, we need more. So please, be generous. Give once, give twice, give three times. We need it all. Take care and thank you very much. I appreciate you coming. I'd like anyone who wants to take a picture with the candidate to come up to the front, please. Thank you very much. I appreciate everybody coming. And one last thing before I finish up. I'd like everybody in here to take a look around. Please, take a look around and look at the diversity in this room. I want you to see, this is Fort Bend County. This is who we are. These are my people, these are your people, these are our people. These are the type of people that are gonna put us over the top. So please, get everybody involved. Make sure that everybody that you know knows that surrendering is a man for the people. Thank you very much. Anybody wants to take a yard sign, we'd appreciate it if you take one. Take a couple. Thank you very much. Do you want some other pop?
guys, here we go. Good family. Can I, um, can I also get a
There we go, excellent. Thank you very much. Let's try and get you guys on the stage so that so that the uh, banners are there. We're waiting for some more people. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. 